Welcome, this is Scott Killaby. This is my advanced guided meditation series that I'm bringing online for people who are interested in meditation but don't want to bypass. In other words, you want to experience all the benefits of meditation, but we, won't, we don't want to do it in a way that creates more problems in our lives. And that's what I intend to do. Even if you don't know how I'm doing it, my style of inquiry and meditation is all about that, at including getting to some of the root of suffering in meditation and not just being and allowing things. So I'm Scott Killaby. If you don't know me, if you want to, intro, or if if you want to read about my work, you can go to killaby.com. But if you're just finding me on YouTube, that's because I wanted you to find me. I put tags in my title so that you would come and listen to a different style of meditation than maybe you're used to. I also use black screen for many of my videos, and that's so that you don't have to be tied to looking at me, and you can stick in your own experience. So I'm going to invite you now to sit or lie down comfortably away from distractions. And I want you to begin breathing or watching your breath, bringing it in through the nose, following the breath down past the lungs into the diaphragm. Feel the diaphragm inflate a little bit and then watching the breath leave the mouth. Just a normal breathing pattern in through the nose, watching the breath all the way down to the diaphragm and then all the way out the nose. And then just doing a few more of those on your own. Today's meditation is entitled Infinite Patience. And the patience that I'm referring to is just the patience of presence. So I want you to notice whatever's already arising, which could be words, image, sensation or feeling in the body. Thoughts usually come by way of words or images. So if there's something that's already in your awareness, like you're already thinking about something, can you turn and notice the thought? Maybe it's words in your mind and you're just hearing those words and allowing them to be there. Staying with them as long as they're here. Or maybe it's an image or images coming through. And you're just staying with them, awake and aware to them the whole time they're here. And when my form of meditation, I always invite people when you're witnessing something to stay with it for as long as it's here until that thought or whatever dissolves. And I'm, I'm referring to words and pictures here. So when you see words come up and you're witnessing them or an image, I'm always inviting you to stay and rest with that and allow it and continue allowing it until it falls away on its own. And that's with everything. That's very regulating to the system, and it helps to counterbalance emotional repression, which is held in the body and creating suffering, according to science. So for now, just remember, when you're witnessing a thought, stay with it, aware of it, whether you hear it or see it, until it leaves you and dissolves. I want you to just come back to noticing being here in the moment, maybe bringing your attention down into your chest area and just resting it there in the inner body, the chest area. And just noticing that felt sense of being here in the moment. It's not a thought. It's a felt sense of presence. You might notice thoughts come and go while your attention is in your chest area, 
But as you do, just notice them. Stay with the thought. Every thought comes up and hangs out a bit and then goes away. Stay with those thoughts, whatever they are, but then coming back to that felt sense of presence in the chest area each time. But again, if something arises, you take your attention out of the chest area and welcome what's arising the whole time it's here. Whether it's words or an image, you allow it, you notice it, you stay with it until it, it lets go of you, the thoughts anyway, and then bringing your awareness back to the inner chest area and then just anchoring your attention there, which withdraws the tension from your mind and can even slow down thoughts if you keep your awareness in your inner chest area. There's also breath in that area, so it's easy to anchor to the breath when your awareness is there. I just want you to keep your awareness in the chest. Again, if something comes up, you allow that. We don't want to be against what arises. If a thought comes up that says, this is uncomfortable, then can we let that be? Hearing those words or that feeling with it, letting that be for as long as it's here in awareness or whatever it is, and then back to attention in the inner chest. That's like your home station. In the infinite patience meditation, even you can do it throughout the day, and you just come back to awareness in the inner chest area, the heart area, and then just rest attention there. Some would call this some version of a heart meditation. It doesn't matter what we call it. It's all about whether you can do that. So just bringing awareness into the inner chest and resting there, just to get that felt sense of being presence. Things are coming and going, but there's a sense that there's something here that doesn't come and go. Just anchoring my awareness there, if I find that in the inner body. And we're just going to rest here and whatever comes up, notice it. And when you notice it, it's okay to take your attention somewhat out of the inner chest area and just be aware of what you're feeling in that moment when something comes up and what you're seeing or hearing in awareness. In other words, if a thought comes up, notice it, allow it. For the whole time it's here, Welcome it. And then when you no longer see or hear that thought, whatever it may be, bringing attention back to the inner chest area. For the infinite patience of presence. Just here, now, always. But of course it's hard to notice that going throughout the day that presence is always here and that essentially we can even bring meditation to our lives if we start to notice that presence is always here. And presence just means that. It means the very presence, the awareness that's here to which everything is coming and going. So if you go about your day, just like you're sitting here and you bring your awareness into your inner chest and you notice just being that felt sense of presence. And let's say you just start walking. You're walking down the road, but your attention is still in the inner chest area. And even though things are happening around you, sounds, shapes, colors, people, music, 
your attention remains in the chest area, showing you that presence is there with you wherever you go. Wherever you go, it's that present moment, and you're just anchoring to that presence each time you come down into the chest. But let's say you're walking, and that you start having thoughts. You start thinking how, I wonder if this is going to be a bad day. But you just take your attention off your chest and immediately notice it. That thought, whatever it is, just hearing it or seeing it from awareness and letting it be for as long as it's here without trying to fix it, change it, get rid of it, or neutralize it. None of that. Just noticing when something arises is enough. And in the noticing, there's this gentle allowing of that to be as it is. Until that thought, whatever it may be, falls away and then back to attention in the inner chest area. So if you're practicing the infinite patience meditation, your awareness always stays in the inner chest or as much as possible throughout the time that you're meditating or even throughout the day. And whenever you think of it again, you bring attention back to the chest area throughout the day. And just like here throughout the day, if something arises, thinking starts tapping, happening a lot, we just notice it. Just let it be just like we did today for as long as it's here. If more thinking comes throughout the day, we notice that. Even if we get lost in thinking, let that happen. But then we might remember, oh, it's thinking. And I come back to attention in the inner chest and rest the attention there, which then withdraws attention from the mind back into that felt sense of presence and the patience of just being here and allowing everything to come and go. I'm just going to spend a few more minutes with you. We're just resting here, and whatever comes up, we take our attention out of the chest area and notice it and allow it. If nothing's coming up, we keep our attention in the chest area, that felt sense of presence. And the more we keep our awareness in the inner chest, the more we see how this presence is always here. Maybe we just didn't notice it. Maybe you're noticing it more now. But then maybe something comes up. See, that can always happen. Thoughts arise again. Our system creates that. Suffering or story or something, we just allow it, turn towards it. See that? And then back to the chest area. When something arises, you stay with it for as long as it's here. Maybe there's something arising now. A thought that's there, can you hear it from awareness? Just let it be heard the whole time it's here until it falls away. That's what I mean. Staying with it until a thought falls away and then attention back into the chest area. And then I like to do a little exercise at the end of many of my meditations, which is to further regulate the system. So you take two fingers and you begin tapping right on your forehead, a continuous tapping. And you're just going to be present to the sound of the tapping and the sensation of it right there on the forehead at the top of the bridge of the nose. Just notice the tapping a little bit more. This settles the mind even more. But while you're doing that, I want you to go back to breathing. Just noticing your breath coming in and out while the tapping is still going. So you're tapping, but you're not noticing the tapping anymore. You're just noticing your breath. That breath is right under the tapping. You're staying anchored to that.
anchored to the breath while the tapping remains. And now take your attention or take the tapping off. You can stop tapping. Just breathing normally. And I want you to take your right hand and then grab your earlobe and gently pull the earlobe down. And keep it gently pulled down for a little while. This can help regulate the system also. And just noticing your breath while you do that. These last two things can be used <clears throat> during the middle of the day when you don't feel particularly grounded in the present moment and you're stressed out about something and you don't have time to step away and meditate. You might just start tapping and watching the breath until you feel that system come down a little bit or you can just grab your earlobe and pull it down a little bit and watch your breath with that. That's what I call emergency measures that you can always come back to when you need it. I hope this helped. There will be a series of meditations coming out here on YouTube. Subscribe to my channel and you'll see them come across your screen. If you want to get started in our work, I always let people know about it. It's a meditative approach that targets the emotional repression hidden in our body that's producing the suffering that we see come and go in meditation. So our inquiries, our work is about ending the suffering. Um, although there's a lot of meditation in it, we do inquiry to get to the root of suffering. If you're interested, I always put a link in the comments or the description to a free repression test that gets you started. And you can always go to killaby.com and scroll to the bottom of the page. There's the free test right there. Thank you.